Hey guys, this is your reading for September. This is a reading for Capricorn, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, and Jupiter signs in love for September. You know what? <sighs> I recorded a whole video, 15 minutes, and um, realized that, because I, I play them back just a little bit, just to make sure that the... Um, that the sound is is with the video and for the most part usually always they are but your video of all 12 did not and i was like oh, shit so here i am and doing it again all right guys so let's see capricorn in love please show me messages for capricorn and love for September and see if it has the same thing. Hopefully not. Get something different. Okay, that one won the jump. I'm going to take that. Nine of Cups. You guys are feeling... This, this card came out, but it came out in your hopes or fears in the other reading. Right now, it's coming out around you. The energy that's around you is a an energy of wanting to be happy and really kind of feeling, you know, selfish at this point. And and I have to take from the other reading because it just pops in my head that you guys have there's a situation where you were involved with someone and you're single. You're single right now, and you're focused on yourself, trying to find a level of contentment within, because that's what the nines are really all about, is being content within, okay? So when, when we get to the 10, it's, it's about like being happy with someone else, bringing someone else in, but that's not you right now, okay? Right now, you're, you're focused on yourself, Piscean energy here. What's crossing Capricorn? The Two of Wands. Yep. You have a choice, basically. You have a choice whether or not to um, start something else or stay right here, involved only in yourself. Okay? Because what the Two of Wands is, is having a choice, but really choosing not to act on the other choice okay so you guys have an opportunity to date to go out but right now you're focused on yourself this is an Aries energy here so I feel like definitely there's an Aries Piscean um, cusper that is definitely in your energy field okay what is the underlying issue here for Capricorn Queen of Swords some of you guys have divorced um, or you have just separated from somebody that you were with for a while. Okay. Now, the thing is, you're very analytical right now and very kind of like, you know, get the fuck away from me. Leave me alone. Okay. You're not with the bullshit. That is a thing. And that happens a lot of times when you've been through these tough relationships that you feel like have taken you down in the freaking gutter. You come out of it, you know, hardened. And that's where you are right now. You're kind of, you're hardened towards relationships. <clears throat> Gemini, Libra, Aquarius energy there. What's been going on in the recent past for Capricorn? The recent past for Capricorn. Look at that. There you are. Hmm. Now, I feel like this is you guys. You've been working really, really hard on yourselves. I don't feel like this is, um, if this is toxic energy, this is something that you separated yourself from here. A toxic relationship, a toxic connection, um, a marriage, you know, you've unchanged yourself is what this is. You got cards flying out here. You've unchanged yourself. This is Saturn. You've been through some tough shit here. Definitely. Capricorn is ruled by Saturn. 
you've been through some really tough um, experiences with this individual you've learned a lot and I feel like at this point you know you're just trying to find some some solace some tranquility in your personal life not with anybody else currently I don't think so this energy here is Taurus Scorpio Aquarius Leo energy <clears throat> Crowley Thoughts for Capricorn. Ten of Swords. You guys really feel like you've been stabbed in the back. And see, your subconscious mind here with the Queen of Swords, it's like you're not taking any bullshit anymore. You've been through way too much to allow any more tomfoolery. As a matter of fact, you're not even really trying to get involved with anybody emotionally. You're not trying to like... Um, you know, help somebody else to feel better on an emotional level. It's like, you know, I'm done with that for right now. It's all about me. That this is just where you are. <clears throat> What's coming in for Capricorn? Page of Pentacles. Doing new things. Exploring new things. Things that are going to be lucrative for you. Doing something different. I feel you guys stepping out of your comfort zone, doing something different. So this this is really kind of like coinciding with the other reading that I did. <clears throat> How is Capricorn viewing this situation? <clears throat> Excuse me, guys. Two of Swords. Hmm. Not really making a decision. I think right now I'm getting I'm getting more of you guys are not really trying to be locked into anything. You're not trying to make a decision about long-term decisions about anything currently. It's like almost like you're winging it. Whatever is making you happy in the moment, hey, I'm going with it. Because I feel like you put other people's happiness before your own previously. And so it's like, you know, you're not trying to be locked into anything currently. So, but I do see you looking towards the future. You're not looking back. Mm -mm, I don't see you looking back. I see you looking towards the future here. Libra energy. Doing what's right for you what you feel is necessary in this moment. What is the influence for Capricorn? That broken heart, that disappointment. This is what this is. Could have been a third party relationship. Does not have to be. But um, I see you guys want to do things differently. Do something new. Because you're looking at the fact that you know you've been through the ringer. And you will not repeat those same mistakes again. That is a whole deal with Saturn. Once you learn those lessons, those hard ass lessons, that shit won't happen again. You know? Aquarius energy there. Hopes or fears for Capricorn. Hopes or fears for Capricorn. Look at this. You just want to be happy. Get your confidence back. Shine like a freaking diamond, okay? Do what you need to do for yourself and yours. Leo energy. What is the overall outcome for <clears throat> Capricorn? Overall outcome for Capricorn. Two of Pentacles. Handling your shit. I feel like you guys... With the Two of Pentacles, it's like you have a lot of responsibilities, but you prioritize. So everything gets, you know, attention from you. Nothing is lacking. And I feel like that's exactly where you are right now. With the Two of Pen Swords and the Two of Pentacles, it's like everything has its place and everything gets the same amount of attention so nothing is lacking here and i feel like 
even though you guys are not um, you know being locked into things you know exactly what you're doing and what you're doing is you're getting over a toxic relationship the best way that you know how and I see that it's working for you I see that it's definitely working for you so again um, Gemini Leo Aquarius Aries Pisces um, Scorpio energy is is here and uh, Taurus all right, guys, so that's what I have for you, and I'll be speaking with you guys soon. Bye now.